Hi, my name is Andy Lewis with Innovative IDM, and the purpose of this video today is to kind of give you a little idea of how to specify a pneumatic cylinder. I'd like to let everybody know that it isn't as hard as it might seem to be. There are a lot of tidbits of information that goes into each and every cylinder, such as mounting, is it a clevis, double clevis, you know, is, the, is it a tie rod, is it an aluminum body, etc. There's, there's a lot of different variations and there are specials. There's customized cylinders and a lot of customers of mine run into this all the time. The OEM of the machine will specialize a cylinder and it might be something as simple as a different type of metal in the rod. It might be food grade oil and grease inside the cylinder. So oftentimes you're able to get a functional replacement without having to go through the pains of developing every single last piece of information that might be about that cylinder. So I'm just going to give you a couple quick ways to gather some information and then hand that over to your local IDM rep and, and we can go from there. Alright, so first off, application. The cylinder, is it double acting, meaning it has two ports, air goes in one and out the other and in one and out the other? Or is it single acting, meaning that it's going to have a spring in the back end which is actually going to push it back in? All right, that's, that's the first one. Second off, the environment, operating environment. Is it harsh conditions, such as is this out in a concrete plant? Is this inside a nice AC? Is it washed down? What do you need? Is it around food? There's a lot of different changes in a cylinder that, that, need to, that can happen based upon that. Next, operating pressure. What are you regulating your pressure down to, to the cylinder, through the valve, etc., that gets right here to the cylinder? All right. And this is also going to have an effect on how much force is required. All right, so that's very important. Let us know what type of operating pressure you're using. Next is force. How, how heavy is the object that you're pushing? How difficult is it? How long does it take to actually reach the full stroke, etc.? All that's very important to us. Finally, operating speed. How quickly, how often, within a time period, do you need to actually cycle through the cylinder. All this information is great. All of it helps us out a huge amount. It makes our lives a lot easier and it helps us give you a very quick quote and solution to your problem. And the last thing is going to be tubing size and port size. That's it. That's a cylinder. If you'd like more information on cylinders or other pneumatic equipment, please go to InnovativeIDM.com for more information. And remember, Innovative IDM is the home of your legendary customer experience.